Hi golfers and welcome to the golf hallway. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about a really, really cool concept. I love this so much and it really resonates with me personally. So I really hope it'll resonate with you as well. And it's about how the legs and the hips work from the top of the backswing throughout your downswing into your finish and how the pros do it. So stay tuned and let's discuss it. All right, so a lot of the times amateurs struggle with losing their spine angle and that kind of can be seen by that right hip extending down into the downswing too early. So my right hip right here is coiled up in the top of my backswing. And then what happens is it goes forward. So you see how that right hip goes forward and that loses my spine angle. And to be clear, my spine angle is this angle right here that I have set at setup and that I'm only really supposed to be turning around. It's not supposed to be changing. It's not supposed to be changing going back and it also most certainly isn't supposed to be changing when I'm going down. And this right here, this change losing or extending early is what really gets a lot of the amateurs. So today I want you to focus on the opposite side of that area. So not really the problem area, but the, <laughs> the reverse problem area, which is that left hip um, instead of the right one. Because sometimes, as you know, when we focus on one area of our body, actually it exacerbates it, it makes it worse, it makes it harder because now so much focus is on that hip that's not supposed to be doing what we're trying for it to do. Um, but now that we're shifting our focus onto the opposite hip, onto the left hip or your lead hip, if you're lefty, obviously it's the other side, um, it's gonna make it very different. It's gonna feel different, it's gonna shift your perspective and your focus, and it makes it easier for a lot of people to actually do this that way. So in golf, sometimes we have to trick ourselves into doing it right. Most of the time, actually. So let's look at how this looks. So now, I don't need a club for now, but I want you guys to, to turn back, feel like that you know, right hip, you're stacked over that, that trail foot and that right hip is nicely rotated. And now what happens, I want you to, instead of feeling your right hip staying back and kind of then starting to rotate down in the back swing, I don't want you to feel like your right hip is matching up with your left hip. That's what a lot of people kind of feel. They go back and they're like, okay, now I have to rotate my right hip to match my left hip and see how that makes it go forward. If anything, my weight's already kind of on my toes. So what I want you to do is really to go back and to now, instead of focusing on your right hip, I want you to focus on your left hip and match that left hip back to match your right. And now do you see how this creates a backwards motion with your hip going down? It's this motion. So you're not feeling like you're matching your right hip to your left. You're feeling like you're matching your left hip to your right. And that creates that backwards motion. That also, if you look at my left leg here, because of this backwards motion, my left leg almost is a diagonal, like this way. It's not fully straight up. So that's a key position. And that thought of matching your left hip back to your right hip. So yet again, I'll show you. We're going back. And now we're matching our left hip back to our right hip, pushing that back, feeling like this leg is almost diagonal a little bit versus straight up at impact and through impact. And now we're really transitioning well. So. If your right hip is the problem, focus on your left hip. <laughs> Welcome to golf. This is how it's done. And I really hope you enjoyed this tip. I really loved it. This resonates with me so much and it's a really powerful feeling. It gives you a lot of space. It's when you're back here now, if you're doing this, you have no space to drop your hands, right? You really, your body kind of gets in the way. But if you're feeling your left hip is matching up to your right hip and pushing backwards, see how much space you now have? All the space that you've created to drop your arms down. And that's really what the pros do. And that is what you can do now as well. So I hope you love this. I hope you like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment, turn on these notifications because I'm dropping YouTube videos every Monday and every Friday for you guys. So once I drop them, you'll be the first one to know. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time.